This stage is the height of any musical career. Everyone from Yehudi Menuhin to the Beatles has played it. YouTube flew this lot thousands of miles to take part in this 21st century concert. What a night then for these musicians, from home movies to the world famous Carnegie Hall. And remember, they only met each other last weekend. It was straight into rehearsal, first thing Monday. No time to get to know each other. 90 people from 33 different countries had to bond seriously fast. Hello, my name is David. I live in Bermuda and I play the violin. Hello, I'm Marco Massini. I come from Peru and I play the bass clarinet. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lida. I come from China. I play the violin. There were 3,000 entrants. 200 finalists were chosen, then YouTube viewers voted. They picked timpanist Owen Williams, the only winner from the UK. So how did you feel? You did the audition and now you're actually here. Uh, well, I feel great to be here. Um, it's very exciting, obviously, first time in New York. It's an incredible learning experience, listening to how people play. I mean, there's people from all over the world, different cultures, different ways of doing things. He's also got the privilege of working with legendary conductor Michael Tilson Thomas, the man with the job of harmonizing this bunch of strangers. And this is good cellos and bass, but it can even be more fun, this. There's some really phenomenally energetic and excellent players, and it's been really interesting, too, how uh, people are finding one another. At first, there was a certain kind of tentativeness of, oh, where are we playing and exactly what are we doing? But it's coming together very, very quickly. Come together, it did. This piece was specially composed, Internet Symphony Number no. One. Amazing! It's truly a such a unique event. I was surprised. I was looking at the stage and thinking, "Oh my God, they know each other for like five days or something." So it was incredible. And of course, the audience was allowed to record it on their mobiles so they could post videos online. Heather Alexander, BBC News, New York.